These women are wives to police officers once attached to Kabalagala police station and are stranded after the force evicted them from the quarters this morning. My husband is still serving for this force. So me, I want to go where I'm going to go. The eviction is part of a new initiative by the Uganda police force to streamline housing, to match deployments and avoid scenarios where officers deployed at particular stations have no accommodation because the houses are occupied by relatives of other officers long transferred. But women evicted from the Kabalagala police station quarters claim they have not been offered any transport, neither have their husbands, now deployed at other stations, been informed of their eviction. My next man is going to train him. Masindu, where are they going to put me? Is he not serving police, police of Uganda? Or about the police of Kenya? Or about where? Ever since I started saying in the barracks, this time police is rotten. This is rotten completely. But when the police is a Bazima Nyumba, Rumukaga. However, when approached for clarification on the controversial eviction, Kampala Metropolitan spokesperson Emirian Kayima said the families received prior notification and only ignored it. Over time, many of our officers were not complying to that directive. And we have been sounding warnings, both in writing and talking to them. Because of possibly financial constraints and other issues, they still did not comply. So we're left with no option. According to Kaima, the officers are to blame for the debacle because many have a tendency of cohabiting with a new wife where they are deployed. Some of their husbands, if they are women, are already married. So where they are, they have a family. So what happens? Yes, this is the puzzle. So what do we do? Do we remain with a problem? Because there is a problem home. We are saying let families talk. Let's plan better. But WBS TV understands that the crisis may well be attributed to the Uganda police force itself and the government because majority of the barracks and the cops are taken to really have ready accommodation for the newly deployed officers. 